In the United States, there are somewhere around $13.1 trillion in total value of the equity held by over 75 million U.S. homeowners, according to the latest estimates from the Federal Reserve Board. And that works out to be almost $175,000 for owning household. This is undeniable proof that home ownership is a crucial part of household wealth, in large part because purchasers were able to put a good chunk of money down on a house and to qualify for a mortgage, which leverages their wealth building ability. Paying for a mortgage actually helps produce more wealth by freezing payment amounts and building equity through forced savings over the life of the loan. Having a 30-year amortized fixed rate mortgage is a beautiful thing in many cases, providing an affordable route to purchasing a home while locking in today's cost of that home for the life of the loan. The traditional rent versus buy argument compares the total monthly cost of buying a home with a mortgage with a corresponding rent, dollar for dollar. But that doesn't take into account the equity that's built over time. That simple look at dollar for dollar expenditure hides the fact that a mortgage is unlike a rent check and actually builds wealth and value. A percentage of every monthly mortgage payment after the interest is paid goes toward the owner's home equity or principal. And over time, less of that mortgage payment goes toward interest and more goes toward principal, so therefore building more equity or value in the home. So the savings power is enhanced over the life of the loan. Whereas, if you continue to pay rent over the same 30 years, you end up with no asset, no equity, and no tax write-off over the life of the loan. Even if the house only keeps pace with inflation over 30 years, it's very conservative, but the forced savings built into a mortgage guarantees a homeowner is building wealth over time. That is the real truth about the power of home ownership over renting. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now for minding your own business. Real estate marketing for 2017 had four major trends going forward. Some may seem old, but hey, they're actually timeless and still as relevant today as they were before. Number one, social media content boosted. It doesn't have to cost a lot, but it can be extremely productive and have effective results. Keep them looking like original content and not an ad. Number two, personalized and targeted. Instead of creating one landing page, one piece of direct mail, one email follow-up sequence, create customized marketing elements based on which audience segment you're speaking to. Number three, the follow-up call. In 2017, this essential follow-up call is easier than ever with the power of retargeting. Retargeting is a marketing strategy in which visitors to a web page, particularly yours, have a tracking cookie placed on their computer. This tracking cookie lets the visitor be retargeted throughout the internet on sites you don't even own. All in all, there may be no more bigger bang for your real estate marketing buck than being able to follow up with a lead while you seem familiar. Number four, get on the video train. Super key right now, video marketing trends in 2017 are way more than just putting a video on the internet or YouTube. It's video texting and emails and video blogs. There are so many uses of video and people want to see your face. Well, that's it for another Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for watching and have a great day.